Okay, so we are back with another My Hero Academia Ultra Impact video. I know I don't post these every single day like I used to. Just a quick update. It's just because there's not really much going on and not enough to really daily upload. At this point, I'm just trying to get the newest card and then showcase the unit to you guys. And in my last summoning video, I pulled Mirio with... Um, so that is why we are doing the showcase because I didn't actually pull him in the initial banner that he was released. And luckily, I did pull him. So... Uh, we'll go into the details of the card here. He's plus ultra, 600% damage to an enemy, and decreases the enemy's power by 20%, and gives himself an evasion for one hit, which is actually really nice. Allows him to be defensive and debuff, really good for PvP. Uh, for the first action skill, 350% damage to an enemy, low chance to confuse the enemy, which can be very clutch. That lasts for two turns, and when used in a chain, decreases the enemy's power by 25%. So as you can see, he has two attack power debuffs, which is great. Uh, makes you survive a lot longer. His second move here, 325% damage to an enemy. And also it gives himself taunt for two turns. And then he gains evasion for two hits. So that's actually really good. You can take absolutely zero damage if you know your enemy is going to do a plus ultra or a skill attack and you're able to pull that off for your enemy and then the two auto skills that he has is when hp is 50 percent or less he is gaining he gains evasion for one hit um then when his hp is 50 percent or less as well he gets an increase in skill damage by 55 percent which is a very big buff it's only for three turns though but that is an insanely huge buff and you can manage it and if you can manage your hp and you have action skills to go off with it then, you know, you are doing a lot of damage. And then his final auto skill, when evasion is active, critical hit rate is increased by 25%. So more critical chance. And because he has um, two ways of getting evasion, he's actually really, really good. And then for the table, I've gotten him to the sixth table for the Awakened Art. And then the purple table is only on the first node. I don't really have enough hero medals in order to actually invest into him right now, since I've kind of laid back on the amount of money that i'm spending on this game just until global comes out and then i know really to go 100 percent real quick but though before we get into the showcase i did pull the new green toga from a single daily so expect a showcase on her very very soon so make sure you subscribe like this video all that good stuff but anyway let's get into the showcase okay so we are going to be bringing him onto ve tower for the first thing here i'm bringing her charco because she can provide dodge for mirio so he's going to get that extra crit rate and unfortunately there's nothing here to really increase his power just because he's a big three unit instead of like a 1a student so that's kind of unfortunate but hopefully later down in the line there's going to be like uh overall ua student kind of support so for now this is all we can do here. Let's just jump into it reversing Shigaraki and all for one. I'm going to have type advantage and everything like that. In terms of the memory that I've equipped him with, it's for yellow units. So faith units that he is. And he's going to get a speed bonus and a skill damage increase. Also, I do have EX auto skills on him. So he's going to get like extra little bit of bonuses here and there. Like he's got like a 7% skill damage reduction, all that kind of stuff. Uh, nothing too crazy out of the ordinary. And I do have a max advancement, so he has like 5,000 extra power, five or 5,000 extra health, one of the two, and like 500 extra power, 1,000 extra power, and stuff like that. So first off, we'll just use his first skill. Hopefully, we can get a Confuse here. Uh, we will also be able to Taunt with Kirishima. That's going to be very helpful. We'll just target all for one. Oh, wow. Okay, I, mi I missed that. Uh, and then we can go with the... Yeah, we'll do this. It's actually doing some decent damage for his... Oh, wow, of course. So, because we had two taunt units, it overrides the taunt from Kirishima. Which did mean we did use our dodges, but that's what it's meant to be for, right? Um, so, no critical chance increase anymore. And unfortunately, he has a very slow cooldown. Uh, we gotta just chill for a bit. Alright, there we go. So we're underneath now 50% HP. Which is a good thing. Because uh, now what we do get here is a 
power increase. So 55% extra skill damage increase for two more turns. We've got the one dodge, so he's able to tank something. And um, so that's going to just get him that extra power. Unfortunately, we didn't really line up too well in terms of skills right now because of the cooldowns. But hopefully we survive here. There we go. The free dodge. And then we can do the first skills here. 20,000 is actually really good. Unfortunately, I haven't really found the good synergy team right here. The cooldowns are all over the place. We get a free dodge now. Alright, so let's go for the heal. It confuses me when he goes invisible because I feel like I misses, missed the skill chain there. Alright, all for one down. We've got our dodges, so... Let's do the plus ultra. So we get that high chance to crit. Maybe he's only level 80. I wish I had him a little bit higher, but... I just don't have the materials to do that right now. Oh no. Menu, hold on. <laughs> Luckily, I can pause before this. This is his plus ultra animation. It's nothing too exciting, but I mean, that is definitely Mirio. That's pretty cool, though. 16,000. He has lowered, like, all of his power, so... His skills actually do some decent damage still, like 20,000 critical. And we did confuse him, which is good. Um... Are we going to lose? I hope not. See how we can confuse here. Got the taunt. Which is... Good. We still got the dodges going. Let's go. The dodge clutch right there. Alright, we'll do the plus ultra again. This time in 3x speed. Sixteen thousand. The lowering power is very, very nice. And then this should finish him off. We'll get the free heal. Twenty-two thousand critical. He's doing a lot of criticals, so that is a good, good thing. Very good for VE Tower if you need somebody to do those critical hits because he gets that extra bonus, which is very clutch. Like, did we? Uh, we didn't get max critical rate, but that was pretty high for what it was. All right, so now we're going to be testing him on PvP. So let's jump into um, a more overpowered team here. Unfortunately, because I haven't upgraded him as much as my other units, it's going to be very hard, especially at this kind of ranking that I'm at right now. But hopefully we can outspeed here and then everything will be fine, hopefully. Uh, we're going to go Taunt first here, and hopefully we get a Confuse as well on Todoroki, just so we don't get frozen or something ridiculous. Alright, on turn 1, 6,400 damage and the Confuse. Like, if you can get the Confuse, it is low chance, but it changes the whole game. Like, you will do extra... You will survive a lot longer, because now, as you can see, Todoroki just cannot do a hit on us. Well, it's a skill on us. I don't really want to use the taunt. <laughs> it's not a great idea. Because I kind of want... My boy, Kirishima. Just... Do all the taunting. Alright. Unfortunately, the Confuse doesn't last for too long here. Uh, we still got the dodges, so I think we're good here. Can I... I can target... I oh, will target you, yeah. Not sure if this is going to kill the, the opponent's Mirio, but... 25,000? Oh, he's got the dodge, I forgot. <laughs> I made a big mistake.
Um, we're gonna go for the skill here first. Nice. Confuse? No confuse, but 23,000. After like three turns, he can do a lot of damage. I know she's going to go for the heal here, but we can take out Todoroki first before it's too late. Don't worry, Miria's got the dodges. Does he have one more? Or is that it? Yeah, that's it. But, luckily for us, we can get another one here, which is great. There you go, free dodge. The dodges are great. Can be really clutch. He, unfortunately, we're dead. <laughs> But he made it to this far. He made it this far. He kept us all alive with the taunts. Double taunt can be pretty annoying as well. And that is GG. Actually, not bad. Like, all because of his taunts and his dodges, we only lost one character, which is actually pretty impressive. So that's going to wrap up today's video on Mirio. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Uh, you're going to expect a Toga Showcase as well as a Twice Showcase in the near future. Just trying to get the materials to grind them up to their necessary, you know, hidden potential system. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on so you don't miss out on the daily content. But with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.